eye. Step nine, we're going to solder the piece now. I use surgical gloves because we're working with toxic materials here now. Um, you need your soldering iron. It's heated, ready to go. You need to wet your sponge for this. Um, that will be a part of keeping the soldering iron clean. Okay. I have some glass star flux, and I like to put a little bit into a container so I don't contaminate what's in the jar in case I don't use it all. And 60-40 solder is good for copper foiling. Okay, so you're just going to put a little bit of flux on the areas where the joins are, and you're going to tack solder these bits. The iron is very hot, keep that in mind. You just want to put a tiny bit of solder and just melt it on. Don't touch the glass. You can crack the glass at this stage. So this is all you do. You don't worry about it being fancy. You're just tack soldering. Okay, we have it tack soldered together and now we're going to solder the entire piece of glass. Uh, you will not do any soldering at the edges because there's going to be a frame that goes on here. So don't go in any further than a quarter of an inch to the piece. Put a bit of flex on the area that you're soldering. Then you take your soldering iron. This is the reason for the wet sponge. It just keeps um, any additional um, solder off of it. So you just go to the area, make a nice bead as you are soldering, nice rounded top, go slowly. So you see I'm not going any closer to the edge than there because I know I'm going to frame it. Again, do not touch the glass. I've had pieces where I've gotten right to the end and gotten a big crack and you're, it's a... Uh, soldering as you say. Uh, this is another one of those things where practice is required to get comfortable with soldering. It, uh, If you have an area that's just not working, don't keep going back while the solder is hot. Again, it'll heat up everything too much and you can crack the glass. So if there's a problem area, just come back to it once the solder has cooled down. Um, you just, again, next area, put your flap. Okay, so now we're just going to continue on until the piece is finished. Okay, so when we have it completely soldered on the front side, you're going to remove two sides of your frame, and you're going to flip it over, and you're going to solder the back side.